everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and if you're new to my channel, hello there, my name is Larissa. I create fashion and styling content here on YouTube. For today's video, I'm back with another capsule wardrobe, this time from my favourite season in terms of fashion and layering. That is of course autumn season. So I've put everything into categories and I thought I should start with the short sleeve base layers. For my short sleeve base layers, I usually go for basic t-shirts. As soon as mid-August, I stop wearing my racer back tops and go right back to these basic t-shirts. These basic t-shirts are really great for layering. They're really great for transitioning from summer to autumn. So these are kind of the building blocks of my outfit, which is why I went with colors that complement everything else from my wardrobe because that'll make things so much easier when it comes to actually putting outfits together. The white one and the black one are from Weekday and then the striped one is from ASOS, but all of them are 100% cotton, so they're very comfortable, very breathable, which makes them perfect for layering. I think a nice way to elevate such a basic piece would be to style it with some heeled boots and maybe a nice blazer. I think that will give it a completely different look. These are always present in my wardrobe, no matter the season I do wear them all year round. For my long sleeve base layers I usually go with a classic round neck top or a classic high neck. These round neck tops are also great for transitioning. I wear these probably at the end of the transitioning period when I cannot get away with wearing short sleeve tops anymore. I focused on the same classic colors as I did for the basic t-shirts and I would style these the same way I would layer a blazer on top or my trench coat. The white one is actually a fine knit jumper from Mango. I got this one months ago, you might have seen it in one of my previous videos because I've been wearing this one a lot. This one is 100% cotton and it's from H&M a nice striped top that goes with pretty much everything and is always a classic. And then this black one, this is a cashmere jumper actually from m and which I'll touch on separately. Another one of my go-to long sleeve tops is a classic high neck. These are one of my favorite things to wear for autumn. I wear them all throughout autumn, but I also think they're great for transitioning from autumn to winter. To me, there's something just so chic and timeless about a high neck top. I wear these a lot, which is why I usually go for wool or cashmere when it comes to high neck tops, because I need them to be breathable, I need them to be comfortable and not itchy, and I need them to keep me warm as the weather gets a little bit colder. I love to wear the white one with my dark blue denim jeans and my trench coat or my camel coat. I think those tones complement each other quite nicely. I think the grey one looks so chic with black trousers or a black midi skirt and a pair of heeled knee-high boots. And then for the black one, I love to do like a classic all black outfit but all of them are interchangeable, so they go with everything from this capsule wardrobe and my wardrobe in general. I bought all of them from Uniqlo and I couldn't recommend them enough. They're 100% wool, but they're not itchy. These are so soft and so comfortable. They're also very affordable and they last such a long time. I have another one, a dark grey one, which I've had for about five years and it's still in perfect condition. And they're only about 30 pounds. So in my opinion, these are definitely worth it. Now we're moving on to knits and jumpers and I've included three in this capsule wardrobe. And we'll start with a classic cashmere jumper. For me, this jumper is a base layer because it's so breathable. So I can easily layer a blazer on top or my trench coat or even my wool coat. I'm also one of those people that get very cold during the cold seasons and I cannot get warm no matter how many layers of clothing I have on. I always feel like I need more. But it is a second layer at the same time for me because I can wear my short sleeve tops underneath or I can wear it just on its own without a trench coat or a blazer on maybe like a warmer autumn day. Cashmere is a bit pricey, as we all know. This one is from m and and it was nearly £100. But when it comes to cashmere, I've definitely come to realize that it's worth investing a little bit more because it will last a long time. It will keep me warm. And it's not like I have to go and buy one season after season. I don't need one in every possible color. So m and have really affordable cashmere 
I know Uniqlo and H&M have their versions as well. So I'll make sure to link a few other options below just in case you're also on the hunt for affordable cashmere. Another one of my absolute favorites to bring back to my wardrobe for autumn is a classic wool jumper. I love the neutral brown tone of this jumper. To me, there's something just so chic about wearing different shades of brown for autumn. And I love to style it with pieces that have similar neutral tones to create neutral outfits. This one is from Arquette and it's 100% wool, but it's super soft and super comfortable, not itchy. I love that I can wear it on its own, maybe on a warmer autumn day, but I can also layer a trench coat on top or a wool coat. I think it will come in very handy at the end of autumn as a transitional piece from autumn to winter. Another autumn wardrobe classic is of course a striped jumper. For me a striped jumper is always effortlessly chic and such a classic. This one is from H&M and it was super affordable but it's decent quality. I love the fact that it's high neck because I can use it as a transitional piece between autumn and winter and I love to dress it up or down. I can definitely dress up this jumper a little bit with some heeled boots and some nice tailored trousers, but I can also dress it down and wear it with some classic everyday trainers and a pair of jeans. Another wardrobe staple that I always bring back for autumn is a classic white shirt. The cotton shirt is back. It was never actually gone. I just didn't wear it as much during summer. I kind of replaced it with my linen white shirt, but now it's back and for me this is a great piece when I want to create those outfits with a nice contrast between smart and casual. If I'm going for a very smart, very well put together outfit then I love to style this shirt with some loafers, a nice pair of tailored trousers and a nice blazer but I can always dress it down a little bit and wear it with some jeans and some casual trainers, maybe a blazer. I think that would dress it down a little bit and make it look a little bit less formal and a lot more casual. Now we're moving on to second layers and it wouldn't be, in my opinion, an autumn wardrobe without a classic black blazer. I love that I can dress it up or down and whenever I'm in doubt and don't know what to wear or how to elevate my outfit, I always reach for this blazer and it always helps to transform my look. This one is from Arquette and it was a bit pricey, but in my opinion, it was definitely worth the investment. I've worn it so many times since I bought it, so I definitely think I got my money's worth. It's 100% wool, which in my opinion is the perfect fabric for autumn and beyond. There's always so many possibilities when it comes to styling a classic black blazer. So in my opinion, it's definitely worth the investment. Another blazer that I like to bring out for autumn is this beautiful neutral brown wool blazer. This might be something a little bit unconventional, but it's kind of my version of a camel blazer. I know that a camel blazer, it's an absolute must have for an autumn wardrobe, but to be completely honest with you, it's just not something that I reach for a lot. So I didn't want to include it just for the sake of the video. So this is my version of a camel blazer, like I said and it was a fraction of the price I paid for the black blazer because it is a lucky find from a charity shop. It is however 100% Italian wool. I love the fact that it's a very subtle neutral brown color. I love to style it with black or with pieces that have similar neutral tones. I love to wear it on top of jumpers or base layers for everyday casual, but I can always dress it up a little bit and wear it with my heeled boots, maybe with my midi skirts for more of a chic, well put together outfit. Another blazer that I reach for this time of year is a classic faux leather blazer. Leather is always a must for me as soon as we get into autumn. It's probably one of the top five words that comes to mind when I think about autumn, together with pumpkin spice, knee-high boots, cozy jumpers, wool coats, and things like that. This is a piece that I always reach for in autumn. I love to dress it up or down. I think it always elevates my outfits a little bit more. I bought mine from Zara about a year ago, and I love that it's nice and oversized, but it's still structured. Moving away from blazers to something a little bit more casual, another piece that I always reach for, a classic jacket. I love it because it's nice and cozy, 
nice and comfortable. I think it's perfect for layering. You can wear it on top of a jumper or on top of a high neck top. It's in my wardrobe for those casual everyday outfits, but I can always dress it up a little bit and style it with some heeled boots. This one is from H&M and I love that it has a very neutral color because it will go with everything else from my wardrobe and it was super affordable but very, very oversized so I sized down. Moving on to some serious layering and one of my absolute favorite pieces for some serious layering is definitely a classic trench coat. I wear these probably until mid-autumn, right before I start wearing my wool coats. For me, these are definitely a must-have in my wardrobe, not just my autumn wardrobe, but all year round. The beige one is my classic Nasty Gal trench coat, which you might have seen before on my channel. It's 100% cotton and it's such a classic silhouette, but it's probably sold out at this point. So I'll make sure to link a few other options below. And then the black one is from Mango. It's really good quality and decent price in my opinion. To me, there's something just so chic about wearing a black trench coat during autumn. So I really wanted this piece in my wardrobe. You definitely don't need both. I'm definitely not saying that you need both. Even I probably don't need both. I could get away with wearing just one, in which case I would go for a classic beige trench coat. But I like to have the black one in my wardrobe as well, just to change things up a bit. And now for even more serious layering than that, we have the classic wool coats, which are such staples in my opinion. They're great for layering and these will definitely take me well into winter. So they're both from Mango and they're around 50% wool and they're very relaxed and quite oversized, so I sized down. I think they're both classic colors that go with everything else from my wardrobe. So we're moving on to bottoms and I'll touch briefly on my go-to denim jeans. So my go-to shape for denim jeans is either a straight leg or an ankle length, but for autumn I would say I prefer more of a straight leg just because it's a bit longer. I think a straight leg is definitely very flattering for my body shape and I love that I can dress them up or down, I can wear them with trainers, but I can also wear them with some heeled boots. And for autumn, my go-to colors are usually a pair of great denim jeans and a pair of dark blue denim jeans. I rely heavily on darker colors for my autumn wardrobe, as you can see, which is why I prefer to go for great denim jeans instead of black denim jeans, just because in my opinion, they give a much nicer contrast to those all black outfits, but at the same time, they look so chic styled with neutral tones. And then for my blue denim jeans, I like to go with a very dark shade for autumn. I feel like they complement the striped tops that I have very nicely. I also think they look amazing with leather. And to me, there's something so chic about styling a darker shade of denim with a beige trench coat or a camel coat. So these are both from and other stories and they are a bit pricey. I think they're about double what I would pay for jeans, but in my opinion, they're so worth it. Straight leg jeans for me are always so problematic because of my body shape. And I've had so many pairs of straight leg jeans from high street brands in the past. And I bought them mainly because they were affordable but I was never 100% happy with the fit. I was always unhappy about one thing or another. And when I tried these on, I honestly didn't have any objection. They fit me the way they're supposed to fit. They're very flattering on my waist, very flattering on my thighs and my hips, which is extremely rare for me with straight leg jeans. So I'm happy that I invested in these. I don't regret the money that I spent because I think in this case, the price definitely reflects the quality. So we're moving on to tailored trousers and my go-to styles are usually either a full length trouser or an ankle length trouser. And my go-to colors for full length trousers, not just for my autumn wardrobe, but all year round I would say, is definitely a pair of neutral brown tailored trousers and then a classic black, which I have on right now. These are both high-waisted, they're nicely tailored and I love that they have Plitted details down the front. I think that makes them look a little bit more chic, a little bit more flattering. The neutral brown ones are a recent purchase from Arquette and similar to the black blazer, they are 100% wool. 
so amazing quality which is why i think they're definitely worth the investment i love that i'll be able to wear these all throughout autumn but i'll be able to wear them in winter as well and then the black ones that i have on these are from topshop and they're super super affordable i think they were about 20 pounds i was actually expecting them to be disappointing quality but they're pretty decent I struggled for such a long time with finding good tailored trousers. I was always looking for the perfect balance between relaxed, oversized and tailored. And I've tried so many pairs from so many brands, expensive or affordable, it made no difference. They were either tailored and straight leg or tailored and slim leg and they looked absolutely horrible on my body shape until I found these two which fit perfectly around my waist but they're looser around my hips and my thighs which for my body shape is ideal and these ones from Marquette are actually available in black as well so what I might do is upgrade these Topshop ones with a pair from Arquette just because they're better quality and I want them to last longer. Ankle length trousers are also another one of my go-to for autumn. I love that I can create completely different outfits with these and compared to the full length trousers I feel like these are a little bit more structured they look a little bit more chic, a little bit more put together. I love to wear these with trainers and loafers, but I can also style them with my heeled boots. And I went with classic colors that complement everything else from my capsule wardrobe. The black and the camel ones are from Zara, and then the gray ones are from H&M. They're all high-waisted, nicely tailored, and super affordable. Another pair of trousers that I like to reach for this time of year is a classic pair of faux leather trousers. Similar to the black blazer, these always pop into my head when I think about autumn. I love to wear these because in my opinion, these always elevate my outfits. And similar to jeans, I think with leather trousers, it's all about finding the pair that fits you, the pair that flatters your body shape the most. These are from good old Topshop and I love that they fit my body shape very nicely. They're very flattering around my hips and thighs, but at the same time, they're nice and loose at the bottom. These, in my opinion, can blend into any of my outfits. I love that I can dress them down with a pair of trainers and a trench coat for a very casual, everyday outfit, but at the same time, I can dress them up with some heeled boots, a nice top for a very polished, elegant, going out outfit. And now for my creme de la creme, my piece de resistance, my satin midi skirts. If somebody would have told me that such a simple piece as a satin midi skirt would turn out to be my wardrobe staple, I would have never believed them. I would have probably even laughed at them. When I was younger, I think it was all to do with my age, probably. But when I was younger, I used to hate imagining myself in midi skirts because I never thought that I'd be able to pull them off. I never thought that I'd get to love wearing them. These midi skirts are turning out to be the piece that I reach for the most, no matter the season. To me, they're just everything all at once. They're casual, but they're effortlessly chic. They're relaxed, but polished. They're just the perfect foundation to all of my most stylish outfits. I cannot rave about them enough. They just make me feel so confident when I wear them. I'm really happy that I found ways to wear these throughout all seasons, which in my opinion is truly the definition of a wardrobe staple. I've definitely tried my fair share of satin skirts this year until I found the right ones. And what I've come to realize is that in this case, in my opinion at least, more means better. And I'm not saying that you cannot find a decent quality satin skirts for less with more affordable brands. I'm just saying that I couldn't find one for me and my body shape. So the ivory one is from Max Mara. It was definitely a bit pricey, but in my opinion, 100% worth it. You might have seen it on my channel because I've been wearing this one quite a lot. And then the black one is a recent purchase from Ralph Lauren. This is an upgrade to the black one that I have from Topshop that I've been wearing non-stop this past summer. But I just wanted to upgrade to one that has better quality and a much better fit. There's so many ways that I love to style these satin skirts. 
I think they're perfect for the transitional period, but I wear them all throughout autumn. And there's so many colors that I could have gone for, but I'm actually happy that I chose two classic colors a black and an ivory because they go with everything else from my wardrobe. Now we're moving on to the last few bits of this capsule wardrobe, the shoes and accessories. And one of my go-to pairs of shoes for this time of year is definitely my Veja trainers. These are my go-to for everyday casual outfits. I have another pair of Veja trainers, which I like to wear during spring and summer. But for autumn and winter, I do prefer these ones, mainly because they have a very nice black detail, which I feel like complement my autumn outfits a lot more. A classic loafer is another one of my go-to. I think these are such a great shoe for that nice contrast between smart and casual. These are from H&M and they were super affordable and they're decent quality. I love them because of their shape and I love that they have a very nice gold detail. They're super comfortable and I also feel like they look a little bit more expensive than they are. To me, these are a great affordable option if you can't really afford to invest in a much more expensive pair of loafers like a designer loafer. The boots that I would usually go for this time of year is definitely a pair of heeled knee-high boots and a pair of flat Chelsea or ankle boots. Sadly, I don't have a pair of flat Chelsea boots yet because I'm still looking for that one perfect pair. I do have a pair from last year, but I don't wear them anymore. So to me, there's no point in showing you that particular pair. I'm looking for a pair of Chelsea boots that are nicely flat, not too chunky, but I don't want them to be too loose around my ankles. So I did find a nice pair at Mango. I'm just not 100% sure I want to buy them just yet. But in my opinion, flat Chelsea boots or ankle boots are definitely suitable for this time of year. There's so many ways that you can style them. And I do love that they're perfect for everyday casual outfits. And then for my knee high boots, I have my duo boots. These were personalized to fit perfectly around my calves, which is quite amazing in my opinion because I always struggle with finding knee-high boots that fit perfectly my ankles and my calves. These were kindly sent to me by Duo Boots as PR. This is not sponsored by the way. I've just been wearing these and styled these a lot recently which is why I think they're definitely worth mentioning. So I thought about including a pair of heeled ankle boots in this capsule wardrobe but because these knee-high boots fit me perfectly around the ankles, around the calves, instead of being way too loose, I feel like I can almost disguise these as ankle boots because I can layer my trousers and my jeans over them. They're super low heel, so they're very, very comfortable, which is why I wear them with everything from trousers to jeans to skirts. When it comes to accessories, I have two classic handbags that I like to go for this time of year. The first one of them is a classic black handbag. This one is very structured, perfect for every day. It's from ASOS and you might have seen it on my channel already. I love that it has a very nice gold detail. I also think it's a decent size. I can definitely fit all my essentials and wear it when I'm out and about. The second bag that I like to go for this time of year is a classic tan structured handbag. This was kindly sent to me by Katie Luxton. Again, this is not sponsored. I've just been wearing it a lot, which is why I think it's worth mentioning. I've been after a tan bag for quite some time now, and I love this one because it complements the rest of the pieces from this capsule wardrobe that have similar neutral tones. I love that it has very nice gold details. As you can probably notice, my jewelry is also gold. So for me, it's really important to find Accessories with similar details, I just feel like they make my outfits look a little bit more put together. For my final accessory, I've decided to mention my recent purchase from Reese, this stunning leather belt. Before finding this belt, I was seriously considering purchasing the Celine belt, but this belt is a fraction of the price of the Celine belt, and it is Everything I hoped it would be, in my opinion, it's effortlessly chic. It's so timeless. I can imagine myself wearing it for a long, long time. It's about 60 pounds, which is still quite expensive for a belt, in my opinion. 
but to me it is definitely definitely worth it i love that it has such a stunning gold hardware detail and i love that i can wear it with my trousers but at the same time I can cinch in my waist and wear it with my midi skirts. And as I mentioned before, accessories for me are really important. So I'm really happy that I finally invested in a good quality leather belt. And there we have it, my autumn capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and inspiring. And I hope it gave you some good ideas in case you're also new to the concept of a capsule wardrobe and don't know where to start. As per usual, everything will be linked down below and I'll make sure to link options for the pieces that are out of stock and no longer available. You can find me in the comments if you have any questions or if you just want to come and chat. Thank you so much for watching this video and I guess I'll just see you in my next one.